Hey everybody, Arnola here on this happy Tuesday, but actually it's not really a happy Tuesday here in Louisiana because it is raining like crazy. Now I feel like every day, like for months now, it's rained at least a little bit. It's, it's insane. And if you've been watching the news, I'm sure you've seen all the nasty, nasty people swimming in the floodwaters of New Orleans because that's just how we do around here for some weird reason. I wouldn't, but hey, I'm not going to knock it. You want a, cool, a nice swim to cool yourself off, you go for it. You swim in that little feces water. But anyway, uh, today I'm going to be doing a ipsy unbagging or unboxing whatever you want to call it but really it's a bag so if you don't know what ipsy is it's a lot like the sephora play box it's a monthly subscription box um where you just it's a they they charge your card every month is what i'm trying to say you just put in your credit card information sign up for it and they just do like a reoccurring purchase on your card and you'll just get the bag in the mail now um to start off with, I would like to say I'm not sponsored. This is just my opinions. You're getting what you get from me. I'm just doing this for fun. My reviews, my opinions, no one's paying me. Let's move on. I wish they were paying me, but they're not. So, um, oh, really quick. This background, this is off the subject, but my friend at work that watches my videos, I have this background here. Um, and she was laughing about it saying, girl, you look like you're going to get sucked right into there. Do I look like I'm going to get sucked in here? Does this look like the portal to somewhere else? Because if so, I wish I would. But I want to know because I really like it. I have a, this tapestry up here because I have a breaker box back here. My kitchen used to be a porch, I think. And for some reason, the construction workers just put a breaker box in the middle of the freaking kitchen wall. So the only way to cover it was this beautiful tapestry. But I like it, and if I do get sucked in, it might be like Alice in Wonderland, and I might just get to go on a big trip and have a good time. So, what does it look like? Does it look like I'm going to get sucked in, or is it lovely? You guys let me know. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this unbagging. Now, just like my Sephora video, I have no idea what's in this bag. I didn't cheat. I didn't look at any spoilers. I didn't look at uh, any videos, so it's going to be a surprise to me as well as you guys what's in this bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it open. All right. And I think what I'm gonna do to have a fancy knife, this one's all melted because I'm just not uh, intelligent enough not to place hot, um, or not hot, plastic things on hot items. So I've melted this knife, but I think I wanna buy like a cheap knife from the Dollar Tree as like my opening knife and bejewel it or something crazy. I don't know, let me know if y'all think that's cute, because I do. All right, so reaching into this bag, the first thing I'm pulling out, ooh, is this little booklet. And I guess this is kind of like that little insert they give you in the Sephora booklet or whatever. So it says, Lavish Life, Ipsy. So we have this little booklet that with the pink bougie poodle and this little bougie guy with his blue hair. Very, very interesting. So let's open it and see. All right, it tells me I'm getting a welcome bonus of $5. That's pretty cool. And it's all fancy on the inside. And I'm not gonna flip through too much because it might tell me like the products I'm getting. But anyway, there's just like some different products in here. It looks almost like a little catalog, so that's cool. So we'll just set this guy aside right now because nobody really cares what's in that right now. Reach in. I wish it was like when I reach into these bags and boxes like a magician when he keeps pulling stuff out his hat and it doesn't stop like that ribbon. I wish it was like that, but it's not. All right. Oh, so the first thing I'm pulling out is this makeup brush. Let me open it. All right. So this makeup brush is, I think it says crown. Very nice. Okay, so very soft bristles. It seems like this would be a really good brush to get around like when you're doing bronzers, like when you do the uh, like the perimeter of your face. That looks pretty cool. It's really soft. I'll definitely get use out of this. I'm pretty, pretty freaking excited. Almost as excited as my beauty blender that came in my Sephora box. But this is really good. Um, I've never gotten a nice makeup brush from Sephora or the Sephora bags. Oh Lord. So I got the Good Vibes Only bag. So my friend at work wanted this one because she gave me the one. I didn't get the Ipsy box last month because I had just subscribed. So 
this is my first boxer bag. Um, and she gave me a little bag that had the fried egg on it because I thought it was so cute and I just couldn't live my life without it. So the deal was if I got this bag, I would give it to her. But I think she said that she did get this bag in here. So there were different ones you can get and I forget what they all say, but good vibes only obviously was one of them. And the Ipsy bags are different than the Sephora Play ones because they're not just those like, and I do like some of the Sephora ones. I usually keep them around to put people's gifts in and stuff. They can be cute. But these are actually a lot nicer. These are actually thick material. They're not just that like canvasy stuff with a drawstring. They have a zipper. And this one's so cute. It's got a little tassel. And you can actually use it to put your makeup in for travel or whatever you want to do with it. So it's cool. So I'm just going to reach in and grab something. Oh, stop. Okay, so I got the Balm Voyage. You see what they did with that? I do. So anyway, this is what the packing lo oh, oh. This is what the packing looks like, if you can see it at all. So, I'm not sure. Let's see. Travel Shadow Ombre, uh, Ombre Voyage. Very cute. Oh, stop. So it just opens like a little book. I don't know if y'all can see, but it's really cute. And it looks like this little bronzy um, colored eyeshadow. Ooh, yes. This is good for the summer. That is beautiful. Now, I don't know if y'all could see it. My skin's kind of tan. Yeah, right here. So, yeah, I really like that. I'll be using that a lot. You could probably even, for darker tone people, use this as a bronzer if you want, but it's an eyeshadow. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. All right. Starting off good. I'm liking it, Ipsy. I'm liking it. And my dog might start barking here in a minute because she's looking out the window and the school children are getting off. And she's thinking about going out there and biting them, probably. I'm just kidding. She's a really good dog. She wouldn't do that. Just bark at them a little bit. Ooh, okay. So then we got, I have no idea, excuse me, what this is called. L-X-M-I. And this is Cream de Nil Pore Refining Moisture Veil. So what is it? Apparently, you're supposed to massage a pearl-sized amount into uh, facial skin as the final step in your AM PM regimens to smooth canvas, which must be your face as the canvas, before makeup and lock in nutrients while you sleep. That's cool. I have issues with having like large pores. I don't know if y'all can see it. Well, I do have makeup on and like primer and stuff, so probably not much, but I do have pretty big pores. That's one of my issues, and hopefully this will work out for me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so rude. I didn't even show y'all. Yeah. And it's a pretty big size. Like, I'm, I'm interested in these sizes because a lot of stuff in the Sephora box, like, they don't have too big of sizes. They give you little bits of stuff. doesn't really have a smell. That's what it looks like. Isn't that interesting? So, yeah, I'm excited to try that. Let's move on and see what else is in here. All right, I'm feeling another little tube Oh, wait, there's a card in here, too. And this is just telling me that I got the uh, Good Vibes Only bag, and it's a broad holding a crystal, and that's supposed to make me feel tranquil and happy, apparently. But it just talks about the five um, items you get and all that stuff. So let's put that away. Back to my tube I'm feeling in this bag. Oh, cool. Okay, Air Repair Super Hydrating um, Eye Cream. So, this free radical repairing formula helps to reduce puffiness, hydrates delicate skin, eye area, and diminishes fine lines. Also contains antioxidant properties of vitamin C, green tea extract, and I have no idea what a cloudberry is, but that sounds freaking amazing. So, it's got cloudberry seed oil. That sounds like some Alice in Wonderland stuff right there. Um, so, it says apply all around eye area with a, ge a gentle stippling motion. All right, so cool, um, and it's by, like I said, Air Repair. If y'all can see, I'm very sorry. I got this bright light on and natural lighting out the window, but anyway, um, if not, you're not missing out on anything great. It's just a little white tube. Let's smell it, because we gotta smell everything. Doesn't smell like anything. I really didn't expect it to, and it's just a white, um, a white lotion. All right, how sad. I think I got only one thing left in here to show you guys. But this feels like a big item, actually. Holy crap on a stick. All right, so this is like a big old size item. Let me take it out the bubble wrap. 
Pacifica is available at Ulta. Ooh, and we get a 20% off Pacifica at Ulta.com with this little coupon it came with. That's pretty cool. All right. So I got, oh, what? Pacifica Coconut Blush. Coconut infused blush for your beautiful cheeks. Y'all, look how big this is. So this is like a big old, um, like blush palette thing. So let's see. Soft flattering shades, subtle pink undertones create a natural looking blush that will highlight your pretty face. That is so cool. And it's vegan. That's awesome. Cruelty free. We'll go for that. Oh man. This is like, okay, I'm not knocking you Sephora because, you know, whatever. I paid for the Sephora box and you had some great stuff last time. But you got, you got to get in the game. You got to step up that cosmetic game because right now Ipsy is killing it and killing you. All right, let me open this. Like at this point, probably if I had to choose between one out of the two boxes I got this month, it would, oh my God, I cannot open this. It would probably be the Ipsy over the Sephora because this is like amazing. Just the, man, are you kidding me right now? All right, Ipsy, I don't know, I'm getting upset by this box. Not really, it's just packaged really well. I really don't wanna rip it because it's so cute, but I might have to, because girl gets impatient. Aw, oh, boo. Let's try to open it from this end. <laughs> like really, really. First world problems, complications. It's probably my own dumb fault. Probably open it from the wrong end. No, I'm totally not. This side's crazy too. All right, we're just gonna have to rip it. Like, that's okay. It's not a big deal. All right. Oh my God, this is so cute. Oh, geez. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You're getting two big old blushes. I mean, this is like an actual, like, looks like an actual normal size product like what all right so this is the what the blushes look like and we have a mirror on the back like get out of town so i'm gonna go ahead and that's weird i just wanted to smell it because it's like coconut infused so i'm gonna go ahead and give these a swatch oh that's so pretty y'all i'm so glad i got this oh my god okay so this is if y'all can see Ooh, let's turn me the other way. This is the pinkish, the like mauve one, and this is the more like highlighter one, like the champagne color. Those are so pretty. That is crazy. So, yeah, I I'm impressed. Like, I'm hella impressed because these sizes for all this stuff for only $10 is great. Um, so, if you're like up in the air, which one you want, Sephora or Ipsy? From this unboxing versus the last Sephora unboxing I did, and if you want to watch it to compare for yourself, I have, you know, it's on my channel as well. I would go with Ipsy. I mean, you get a nicer bag, bigger, you know, a full size item, a freaking makeup brush. Like, you can't go wrong. This is awesome. Very impressed. Good job, Ipsy. I'm definitely sticking with you guys to see what else y'all have to offer. But yeah, that's it for my unboxing. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If y'all did, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, all those good things. Um, I'm going to be having, I keep saying I'm going to be having this and this, and I'm just kind of slowly getting along to it. I'm going to have a thread up unboxing coming um, and some like little product reviews and that. And also, I'm going to start a new segment on my channel called Reader Rules, where I tell like short stories and things like that. But I'll get into that more later. But yeah, um, I hope you enjoy and y'all have a good day. And if you live in Louisiana, stay dry and don't swim in the nasty, nasty water. Y'all have a good day. Bye.